Good afternoon, everybody. This is Karen Marge from Hilton Head Island, South Carolina. And I'm filming today in sea pines, and this is an American alligator. They have a broad, round snout, and this little guy, he was basking on land, and then a truck drove by, and he actually uh, picked up and moved a little bit toward the water. And they have raised scales along the length of their back. Uh, the tail is laterally compressed, and hatchlings are, you know, hatchlings when they're born little, uh, they're black with cream to yellow crossbands on the back and the tail, and those will eventually disappear. Um, you can see the alligators along the freshwater ponds and lagoons on Hilton Head, and also over in Savannah National Wildlife Refuge, <clears throat> you will see uh, a lot of the gators over there. And it's very important that you do not approach a gator. I have a zoom camera, so um, you don't ever want to approach. They're also federally protected. And if they become habituated to humans, uh, it can be a problem. And unfortunately, they would have to be removed from, from the environment. They do have a diet of fish, amphibians, reptiles, birds, mammals. Uh, the juveniles will actually eat invertebrates. And in the spring, they'll have a courtship, and the females will create uh, a mound of mud and vegetation, and they can have a clutch size up to 20 to 50 eggs with 65-day incubation. And when alligators are born, they're about nine inches long. All right, well, this is triple exciting to see this beautiful reptile. So it's Karen Mart signing off from Hilton Head Island.